All right, that was Larry Sparks. A um, lot of good bluesy kind of uh, feel to his playing there. Yeah, one thing I, I really appreciate is that uh, he's kind of like crooning with the guitar in the same way he's, he's very much like a bluegrass crooner. Uh, and I think that that's kind of like a lineage that hasn't been followed through actually very much. Hmm. And so uh, that's just interesting when I go back and, and every time I listen to Larry Sparks, there's something very lyrical about his style that I think hasn't caught on as much as, you know, the more flashy Tony Rice type stuff. Yeah, I have to admit that I I you know knew the name and and all that, but wasn't real familiar with his his playing and and uh, so it was real uh, pleasure to discover him and definitely going to be checking more of him out. And also, it's uh, yeah, just uh, he's got a really um, and this is not a negative. This is a po- you know real polished kind of performance style that he brings to the whole thing. He's really in command when he's singing yeah. in front of that group, you know. <laughs> So our last cue is, again, a kind of transitional guy. He played in uh, Johnny Cash's band for many years. You know, as a Nashville session musician, uh, multi-instrumentalist. And he was part of a really important record uh, by John Hartford, someone we haven't really talked about yet, uh, but we'll get to on future episodes. And John Hartford is most famous uh, for having written uh, Gentle on My Mind, the, the huge hit for Glenn Campbell, and also was a performer on the Nitty Gritty Dirt Bands, uh, uh, or Norm Blake was, uh, you know, performed on the, on the Will the Circle Be Unbroken album, playing Dobro, I believe, on that album. He was also featured on the soundtrack of Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? and did a couple of beautiful albums, uh, duet guitar albums with Tony Rice, played on the Alison Krauss and Robert Plant album that won all the Grammys a few years back. So he's kind of covered uh, a lot of this from the traditional to the rock to the new grass kind of thing. And so the song that we're going to hear is uh, an original song of his called the Church Street Blues. And this has become kind of a modern standard uh, again, kind of made famous by Tony Rice, and on the YouTube channel, I couldn't find any performances of Norman Blake performing the song, so we've got a video of Tony Rice uh, doing a pretty faithful interpretation uh, from this version of Norman Blake's Church Street Blues. <laughs> <laughs> 